annual world premiere of Ewan Lloyd's production of The Sea Wolves was a gala night London will not soon forget. Stars and personalities from around the globe assembled in Leicester Square to honour a great hero, the late Earl Mountbatten of Burma, and two charitable organisations, the Variety Club of Great Britain and King George's Fund for Sales. First to arrive, just as they were on the spy battlefront in India in 1942, are Colin McKenzie, former controller of Special Operations Executive and leader of the mission into Goa, Colonel, now Major General Lewis Pugh. It is their true story which is about to captivate the premier audience. Now welcomed by producer Ewan Lloyd. Ewan Lloyd welcomes naval advisor to the film team, Admiral Gandhi and Mrs. Gandhi. It was a fun occasion for many, including these colourful guests. From Hollywood, just for the night, Gregory Peck and his lovely wife, Veronique. Executive producer, Chris Chrysophis and Mr. and Mrs. Patrick Allen. Director Andrew V. McLaglan is there to share a night of success with his stars. The producer welcomes Colin Stewart, whose father is portrayed in the film by Roger Moore. Variety Club's chief barker, Tom Egerton. Exhibitors from home and abroad, Britain's George Pinches and delectable Kitty Wilkinson. Mr. and Mrs. Yoga Araneta from the Philippines. Author James Leeson with Ingeborg Müller. Ewan Lloyd with Switzerland's leading exhibitor, Dr. Eric Scottoni. One of the most striking co-starring roles in the film is played by Kenneth Griffith, repeating his notable performance in The Wild Geese two years earlier. One of a score of fine actors for which Britain is so well known. Producer Ewan Lloyd's striking actress daughter, Rosalind. Switzerland's Oscar-winning producer, Arthur Cohn, and his daughter. Lloyd's production partners from Hollywood, Lorimar, are represented by Lee Steiner. The Sea Wolves is dedicated to the memory of Earl Mountbatten. The Mountbatten family is represented at the premiere by Lord Milford Haven and Lady Joanna Natchville. Lord Louis was the last honorary colonel of the Calcutta Light Horse. From Denmark, the popular Sandberg family of distributors, who will shortly release the film in that country. Barbara Kellerman, producer Lloyd's latest discovery and acclaimed by the British press. And Roger Moore, critics say this is his finest performance yet. And this memorable charity night was honoured by their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Kent. Great film fans, the Royal Party broke into their busy timetable at the Wimbledon Tennis Championships, of which the Duchess is president, to help raise a record-breaking figure for the worthy charities. The presentation line is headed by the organising committee and all who made the night possible. Ewan Lloyd meets the Duke. Lee Steiner. Andrew McLaglan. 
Barbara Kellerman. 85 years young, Colin McKenzie, portrayed by Patrick Allen, who stands at his left. This is Doris Grice, widow of the brave leader of the Calcutta Light Horse, Colonel Bill Grice. Colin Stewart again, and his father's acting double, Roger Moore, seen here with his beautiful wife, Louisa. General Pugh meets the Duke, his story about to unfold on the screen. Mrs. Gregory Peck and Mr. Peck himself, all on hand to share the adventure of a lifetime on screen. The Duchess of Kent meets Roger Moore, General Pugh, and Gregory Peck. And perhaps the proudest little girl in London tonight, eight-year-old Alexandra Buxton, has the honor to present a bouquet to Her Royal Highness. And there's always an extra moment from the gracious lady for a child. Now, on with the show. Twelve million dollars of motion picture film is about to unwind. A true and miraculous moment in history can be told for the first time. The second half of this great night, aimed at raising huge sums of money for those less fortunate, moves to London's Intercontinental Hotel. Here, thanks to the generous support of the Ambassador International Cultural Foundation of Pasadena, California, yet more money is raised. The Royal Party are the first to arrive. With the ladies' finals to be played tomorrow, they will probably have to leave early. But not the 500 guests who are close behind them. All carved out of ice, the chef's spectacular impression of the Phoebe, the river barge which knocked out three spy ships in the film. Gregory Peck arrives to be congratulated by the assembled company. little relaxation for the stars after the premiere, autographs are much in demand. Composer Roy Budd, who wrote the magnificent score to the Sea Wolves. dancing to round off a wonderful occasion led by Kenneth Griffith looking considerably cleaner than he does in the film. A great night, a great movie and a great party. Once again proving that show business and charity go hand in hand and foundations like Ambassador International make Pasadena a place on the map which countless needy children the world over will never see but forever appreciate.